So thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, delighted to be here at East Midlands on this important hustings for the NFU presidential team. Can I say, first of all, it's been a delight and an honour to have served as Deputy President of the National Farmers Union of England and Wales for the last four years, particularly serving under Peter Kendall as President. And when I think back over the last four years, to think what's been achieved, <coughs> particularly in the eyes of government, where you think we were four years ago, where farming was not even on the political agenda, here we are on the back of why farming matters primarily, we now have a government that's starting to recognise food security and the need of an agricultural industry. And they've delivered their sort of food strategy for 2030, good framework, but there's still a lot of work to be done to actually put some meat on the, flare, uh, on the bones of that strategy in 2030. So again, big task, very important task for the next couple of years. As well as being recognised, we also have a general election between now and June. So again, it's going to be important that we're not just talking to this government, we're talking to the opposition spokespeople, Jim Pace, uh, Nick, and Nick Herbert, and that team, because again, we want to carry on with these messages of the importance of farming, how we need to be prosperous if we are going to develop and produce all this extra food that's required in the sort of years ahead. I think one of the big challenges that we face as an organisation is CAP post 2013. There is no doubt about that. Um, we, one of the main principles is that we get a more common policy that does not disadvantage UK farmers, English and Welsh farmers against the rest of Europe. Because as we become more market focused, we are going to have to be competitive in the marketplace, but we do not want to be disadvantaged. I can say to all of you, one of my responsibilities over the last four years has been working with the MEPs for the European Parliament. I can honestly say I've built up some very good working relationships and the reform of the CAP post-2013, there's going to be co-decision powers by the European Parliament. So again, a very important role that we're in there. And the NFU is the only organisation that is going to be there arguing for British farmers at a Brussels level. I'm also very concerned, I can talk about bovine TV, it's in my statement. Big issue, we've got to get government to accept that they need to change their wildlife policy if we are going to defeat this disease. I think we would won that argument with just every minister, we won the argument with the opposition, we just need a secretary of state to agree to that. We've also got to put out and sort out the unhelpful messages for the livestock industry being put about by some of the green NGOs around climate change. I do not want to see the critical mass of our dairy and livestock industry disappear any further. Can I just finish off by saying, why me as your Deputy President? Can I just say I believe we need continuity. I've worked with Peter for four years. I can honestly say we've got a very good working relationship. We get on very well together. New DG, new VP. So it's continuity and I've got the passion and the enthusiasm.